Hi Libra, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. Uh, a few things before we get started with your reading while I'm shuffling. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. It will be for the love portion only of the reading. Secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that info is below as well. And then lastly, um, there is a donation button below for the people of Ukraine. Um, I'm doing a fundraiser through YouTube. Um, it's a nonprofit organization to help uh, the Ukraine people uh, with emergency aid, okay? So uh, donate if you can. No donation is too small. Even a dollar can go a long way. Um, collectively, I get thousands of views on my videos. So if you can, donate. If you can't, that's all right as well. I'm personally donating 10% uh, of what is collected up to $1,000. So thank you in advance if you donate, and uh, let's get started with your reading. So I'm going to pull some um, energy here from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, messages here from Spirit, and just want to also say thank you for all your love, your likes, your shares, uh, following me here on YouTube. It does help me grow and connect with you and your energy. So let's see here. One more card here for Libra. What else does Libra need to know? Okay. So, Libra, messages here from Spirit. Let's see what we have. Okay, we got two fours here. Okay, so if you're seeing repeating fours, know that uh, this may be the message that uh, Spirit wants you to know. You have your number 13, which is four. This is the cat spirit. This is claim your independence. Okay, so, so in the month of April, you may be feeling more... Uh, self-sufficient, not that you're not, but more independent. You may want to do things on your own. You know, maybe uh, you don't like if people are clingy. I don't know, but you're going to be more independent in the month of April. Okay, so own it. I feel like that's what they're saying. Own it. Okay, there's a reason why. Yeah, have number 17, which is eight. This is the crow spirit, co-create with spirit. Okay, Crows for me are all about change, okay? Whenever I see crows, there's some sort of change that's happening in, in my life. Um, and I feel it's a message here that it's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, change can be good. Sometimes we have a hard time with change. So they're telling you, I feel with this energy to go with it. Okay, just go with it. All right. Maybe it's that you have to spend some time alone, or maybe it's, you know, you have uh, some sort of project or something here that you need to do independently. All right. They're just, I feel like they're just saying go with it. Okay. Spirit's going to guide you. They're going to help you through that change. Now you have here number uh, 67, which is 13, which is four. This is the wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom. And really what I'm picking up from this energy is they're telling you here, whatever transition I feel or change that is happening in your life right now, I feel you're going to be much wiser, right? And um, you're going to, you know, you're going to take that knowledge with you. You learned from whatever the past brought you. And now you're moving forward and you're moving forward a little bit more. I felt confident, more assertive, independent energy is what I get there, Libra. Okay, so let's um, pull some tarot. Let's see what other energies there are for you here. I feel like things too are going to come into balance for you. You're going to feel more grounded if you haven't, right? So let's see what the tarot has to say here. Let's get messages here for Libra. What does Libra need to know? Messages here for Libra. I feel like too, maybe some of you are going to school. Uh, maybe you're going back to school or you're going to school. Maybe you're taking up some sort of new um, study here. Okay, you have the Four of Water. We have, ooh, very nice, the fortune's wheel. We have the king of earth. Ooh, boy, that one flew out. <laughs> we have the seven of water. Oh, boy. We have the page of air. Very, very nice. It's interesting, um, the fortune's wheel and the page of air came out in Aries reading. 
Okay, so if you have Aries in your chart, that may be a sign for you, but let's see here. And we have the three of air. And bottom of the deck here, we have the ten of air. Okay. So there may be some sort of cycle here changing for you, okay? Closing out an old cycle. That is uh, the change here with the crow spirit. Uh, learning from it, maybe being, uh, you know, more independent, okay? Or maybe having to spend some alone time, okay? So, you know, this can be in any area of your life, really picking up a love situation possibly here. I'm also picking up, um, there just could be something else closing out in your life, okay? You do have the 10 of air here and you have the full card, right? It's showing me here that there may be a situation where um, you definitely were up in your thoughts and your head about it, okay? It feels like something here is coming to a close, a new cycle for you. you got the full card. I feel like what they're saying here is embrace the new journey, okay? There's a new journey ahead of you. That's why the crow spirit is here. It's telling you that they're guiding you here through this change, right? And you're not alone. And I feel the energy is that also too, you're much more wise. And you know, that, that energy came out in Aries reading as well. Um, but you're much more wise going forward. Okay. The full two is an energy here of traveling lightly. It's a new journey. Okay. It's a journey of, you know, not really knowing what to expect, um, but it's a journey that's good for your soul. Okay. So you're closing out this energy. So in April, if, you know, if you've been feeling, you've been thinking a lot about a certain situation that's been on your mind, it's telling me here in April that's, that's being released here. Okay. Especially here too, we got the fortunes wheel and we have the page of air. There's a new shift in your energy and I feel this was destined to happen. This is part of your journey. You have the four of water and you have the seven of water here. Okay. So the, it feels like there, you know, in the recent past here, there was some mixed emotions about a situation, okay? A feeling of not feeling content, all right? And it's around uh, emotions, feelings here. We're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about, all right? Now, here's the change here I see, okay, happening uh, here in April. You have the page of air and you have the fortune's wheel. Okay, there's definitely a fresh new start, a new beginning here for you. This can be some sort of breakthrough, all right? Uh, the, I get here too that there could be some sort of unexpected communication or something that happens that you're not expecting, okay? And I feel like the crow spirit here is what's guiding you through this, okay? You have another 10 here. We have two 10s. Definitely feel a new cycle that's about to happen. We're going to clarify. We'll see what that is. Now you have the king of earth and you have the three of air. Okay. So really the energy that I'm getting here, whatever situation you went through that caused, you know, some mixed emotions, maybe unanswered questions, maybe opened up, you know, this could also be an energy where, you know, it opened up a lot of possibilities and now you're confused what to do. Um, you know, being here, you're claiming your independence. Okay. So I feel like you're processing, um, a lot of emotions right now, and even maybe even some healing with this three of air. But what I do see with this king of pentacles and the three of air, there is some sort of stability, uh, coming your way. Okay. Could even be an offer, uh, from a king of pentacles, we have uh, strong earth energy, or we have earth energy there, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have air, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's clarify the cards. We're going to see where all of this is going. Now, I'm going to say to this page of air, you know, you have it right next to the seven of water. This may be a situation, too, where you're cutting something out of your life, okay? You're cutting something out of your life that doesn't add value, okay? That's the shift here. Um, taking your knowledge with you, 
Okay, so there could be something I'm just going to say here too. You could be cutting uh, out of your life, right? Moving on from it, healing from it type of energy. Okay, it's going to be different for everybody. Why is the four of water and the seven of water here, please? Why is the four of water and the seven of water? All right, we have the two of wands. We have the page of cups. The moon card. The chariot, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay. So this is what I was saying. There, the, it feels like there could be, uh, you know, opportunities here. This could be your emotions around a particular situation. Let's see what we got. We have the Two of Wands and we have the Page of Cups. Interesting. I feel here uh, there could be some sort of new offer uh, that's coming up uh, in your near future here and you may have to make some sort of decision around it Okay, this is that two of wands uh, Crossroads energy some of you this could have to do with uh, Definitely get here too. You got the chariot strong cancerian energy could have to do some some sort of travel Okay, I feel here too. You know, you could have a lot of different things going on in your life uh, you could have a friend here catch up with you, maybe ask you if you want to do some traveling here. Um, but I'm also going to say this could also be somebody here flirting with you, somebody new flirting with you. Uh, and you're not too sure if you're ready to move forward, you know, in a new direction. I'm just going to say here, I don't feel like this is a past energy. I feel like this is somebody new. Could be somebody a little bit younger than you. It could be somebody that you know from your past. I'm going to say that. Uh, very, very kind and loving uh, offer here. But someone could be making an offer here to you to see if you want to travel. You know, this could be a child, a friend. You know, it could be anybody here. It doesn't have to be lab. And then you have the moon card here. All right. So, you know, again, I feel like there is some sort of uncertainty here. You have mixed emotions about it. You don't know if you want to move forward. Right. This may take you in a different direction, whatever this offer is for you. Okay, so I see you seriously, you know, contemplating here with, you know, the world in your hands. So it feels like something big, okay, you know, um, to you, all right? It feels like some sort of big decision here you're having to make. Uh, now, you do have the Ten of Pentacles, so I'm going to say here that uh, this offer, okay, it may seem really small to you in some, so, some sort of way, shape, or form but it could lead to a Ten of Pentacles here, okay? A lot of stability, um, a lot of growth here, okay? So this could be financial. This could be, you know, having to do with a career move. Maybe you have to travel. If someone's presenting some sort of opportunity, you know, uh, it could be a family, maybe wanting you to move uh, towards them. So a lot of different scenarios here. Your intuition will tell you. So let's clarify why the fortune's wheel and the page of air is here, please. Why is the fortune's wheel and the page of air here, please? Okay. There's that ten of pentacles. Very nice. Ace of wands. Nine of pentacles. I see that nine of pentacles like that cat spirit there. All right, let's see. And the five of pentacles okay and bottom of the deck here you have the queen of pentacles okay so libra i feel like there's a shift happening here for you uh, moving in a different direction and i feel that um i feel like you're going to be in a very stable grounded place when this all takes place I feel like you, you know, again, you're much wiser. You know better uh, from what has happened in your past. But we have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely some sort of opportunity. You got the, the Page of Air and now you have the um, Page of Wands. So there is some sort of opportunity that is coming towards you that has the potential here to lead you to this Ten of Pentacles, 
All right, so this may be something that helps you out financially. You know, some, like I said, some of you could be a move, some of you could, uh, could be, you know, maybe possibly moving with family or a child. I get here, you know, if you're older and you have a, a, an older child. Um, I get here too, this could be a love opportunity. Okay, you have the nine of pentacles here. All right, and you have the five of pentacles. So it's interesting with this five of pentacles here. Now, I'm going to say with this ace of wands, this could be somebody that you know. I'm just going to say it could be somebody here that um, maybe didn't value you in the past. But I'm going to clarify that five of pentacles. So it could be a situation here where... There could be somebody that didn't value you in the past and they're coming back around wanting another opportunity. You may decide to cut this person out of your life. You know, everybody's going to be different because I see potentially you could have other options here when it comes to love. Let's see why the Five of Pentacles is here, please. The lovers. Yeah, choice between two lovers, Libra. <laughs> Choice between two lovers, you got Gemini energy, or you could just be dealing with a Gemini who's coming back around somebody who didn't value you. But I see a page of cups here, and so this is what I feel here. I feel uh, Libra, whatever your situation is, is you could even be with somebody now, okay? And there is another choice, a choice between two loves. Okay, now if this is not about love for you, I do get the energy here. There is something here that's very close and dear to your heart. There's an opportunity here. Now, some of you, money could be a factor in the situation. Maybe you feel that you're lacking uh, financially, or maybe you feel like maybe this new opportunity, There's maybe you're feeling like uh, financially, it, it, there's not a lot of potential. I'm picking up that energy. But remember, you're being guided here through this change. There's definitely a new cycle that's happening for you. You do have the four of swords. So they're saying here you're going to need to take some time to yourself to gain some clarity about this situation. You know, meditate on it. Um, you know, take some alone time. So let's see why the king of earth and the three of air here is here, please. Why is the king of earth and the three of air here, please? We have, oh, how did the Queen of Cups get reversed? I don't do reversals. Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Cups. Okay. Yeah, bottom of the deck here, the Five of Cups. Okay. So, you know, I'm definitely picking up a situation in love here, a situation where there definitely was some heartache. Um, a lot of emotion I picked up in the beginning here, and I feel that there is somebody here, you know, everybody's going to be in different phases here. I feel potentially you could be talking to somebody new or somebody's flirting with you, and maybe you're making the decision whether to go down that road with that person. But then I get somebody here that maybe you already know here who wants another opportunity, right? It feels like you feel a strong connection with this person, with the lovers here, and you also have, you know, it does feel like a faded, destined energy here, right, with the fortune's wheel. You have, look at that, the queen of cups, the king of cups, and the two of cups, okay? Divine partner energy here. Two peas in a pod. I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> Okay, but uh, it feels like there's mutual feelings here between you and this person. So, you know, I feel what's happening is there's an opportunity for you and this person to heal things. But you have a decision here, okay? Now, if this is not about love for you, there may just be a lot of emotion around some sort of decision here you're having to make. Something that's very close to your heart, okay? I'm going to say here, I get the energy here too, there could be some sort of decision around your parents, okay, maybe financial here. Uh, like I said, I did pick up an energy around, um, you know, possibly travel or a move, 
Um, but I do feel here you have the Five of Cups and the Tower card here. So there was something I feel that happened um, that you feel very disappointed about, okay? Definitely a lot of emotion in your read here. So Libra, I feel that you got to, you know, a decision, right? So for those of you who are dealing with another person here, okay, I see another energy here. Somebody here wanting another chance, another opportunity. Divine partner here. Um, let's see what they're thinking or feeling about you. Okay. Look, I popped out. Ten of Pentacles. What is this person thinking or feeling about Libra? King of Pentacles. Okay, same thing here, that King of Earth. Wow, Three of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, somebody with strong Earth in their chart. So three cards here, uh, Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles, all right? So this person, I feel here, this could definitely be somebody all about their money. Maybe they're very successful. Maybe they work a lot. Um, this person does come off uh, across a bit detached emotionally. They may be, you know, more about material things, I get. Uh, but this is someone I feel who is coming your way, all right, coming your way, wanting another opportunity or a chance here to um, bring stability back here to this connection, all right. So we're going to take it to the extended uh, Libra. We're going to see how this plays out. Uh, we're going to look at their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. And I will look at new love, okay, because you have new love here as well. So I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.